welcome back for another video I'm gonna show you why you don't want to be this guy now don't you hit me with that hammer <laughs> <laughs> you swing that easy <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> and you would much rather be this guy. Safety first, guys. Drive away. Still don't hit me with the hammer, please. <laughs> Today, we are going to take a look at the Code Red Crescent 24 inch pry bar. It has an adjustable jaw on it. It has half inch increments for the adjustment as well as it has a, a lifetime replacement guarantee of the tool. You can pry with it, you can pull with it, you can hold with it, and you can hammer with it. I have a couple of ideas that I can use it for on the farm here that doesn't relate to construction. Let's take a look at it. Well, as you can see in the introduction, guys, you don't want to be the other fellow, right? A little bit of humor to go along with the tool, I think, is actually I stumbled across as I was uh, looking for some different items to work with here on the farm. But this is the uh, Code Red made by Crescent. It's a 24-inch pry bar that has multiple uses to it. And as you've seen in the beginning there, uh, you can hold things away from your body uh, if somebody was swinging a sledgehammer or if you had to pry something and have a saw in the general vicinity as to where your fingers would be this is an excellent tool I mean uh, first time I've seen them over there I'm sure they've been out for a while but uh, I bought two of them so a uh, little push pin back here and it slides out in um, half inch increments so you can adjust the jaw on it now it is a pinch point here so watch your fingers but you can slide this down half inch increments all the way open to five and a half inches okay so even here blacksmithing uh, that turns into an excellent bending tool uh, on hot steel like that and it's durable as a matter of fact I think it says it on here this is guaranteed forever that's absolutely what it says guaranteed forever so they're proud of this tool uh, you can hammer with it and another neat thing about being able to move this adjustable jaw here is it gets you to the right leverage point for pulling nails I'm going to show you a little bit here in just a second but again simple to move up now once you clear the last five and a half inch uh, setting they have here it is capable of sliding all the way open if you needed to get up here for a, a, a higher pulling point if you wanted to, to draw something back. Uh, this would be excellent for fencing too, and that's actually what my thought was for here on the farm. Uh, holding T-posts, stretching wire, um, <coughs> staples. If you have to have a hard one to get in there to pull out a staple, uh, you're capable of dri driving this in just like a cat's claw. And I mean, how nice is that? Easy to throw in the back of the mule, and I can carry this with me any place, okay? Let's look at a couple of uh, different features here. The first thing I'm going to show you, now again, a uh, really nice hammer here, so you can either drive with it or pound on the back of it. But hitting this angle, I mean, that's really solid. So that's the first thing, again, that I already like this. I, I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. It does have a crowbar type style on the other end of it. I hope you guys can see that. Okay, so and again, just uh, I think this is going to be one of those tools that I'm going to, glad to be glad to have around. Let's take a look at some other applications here. All right, again, you can use it as a hammer. So when you're out again doing fencing, you're on the job uh, building home, something like that, or remodeling. Um, it's convenient. And then if you need to drive that or pull that nail back up, again, you can always get to a really good lifting point here for leverage. You get this guy turned down here and right back out. I mean, that, that's perfect. So let's try a fencing staple and see how we do. 
Like I said, fencing is one of the big things I have. Right. Yeah, right in, no problem. And then if you need to extract the nail or the, the staple, you're right back out. Okay, let me show you another feature I really like about this thing. Now I have this setting here, and if I needed to move this tube before around, if I was trying to straighten it out while I was driving nails or on a top plate or a bottom plate, something like that, I can get it where I needed it to be, and then just simply manipulate side to side as whatever I need to. And the length of the tool gives you more than enough leverage to uh, do whatever you need to do there. And again, you're keeping your fingers and hands back out of the way and safe. Okay? Now, these are laser etched in there on their half inch increments. And here on the back side is where the uh, detention spring is going to put itself in there. Let me get that slid back where we can all see it. And you can adjust that all the way out having the uh, half inch increments to five and a half inches. Okay. Like I said, now that is a pinch point, so you got to watch your hands as you're sliding everything forward. Now, if you get some use on the tool, it'd probably open up a little bit and be a little bit easier. But <clears throat> what I have here, uh, again for the blacksmith shop, this is a half inch piece of rebar, and I do have the jaws open up to a half an inch. And if I wanted to bend this, more than enough leverage. And just bend it right over and that's cold that's not even hot you see me grabbing it here and again if i need to straighten out steel uh, what a nice tool yeah so i can manipulate that any place i want to and it's just long enough to give you some really good leverage and again you can hammer with it if you choke past that point. i'm swinging that that's not, not playing with it Okay, so like I said, a, a great multi-tool for fencing. Um, if you was sawing down a tree and got your saw wedged uh, bound on the blade, you could use this to lift the tree up too. So again, I'm going to keep this thing in my mule and uh, use this probably more than I've even thought. I'm, I'm glad I stumbled across that. Now, there we have it, a quick review. Again, this is the Code Red 24-inch. Uh, pry bar from Crescent. I'm not sponsored by these guys, so all this information that I'm sharing is for you. Um, I think this is a tool that I know I'm going to be able to use in, in more applications than I can even think of right now. And like I said, I stumbled across these the other day shopping, and uh, I, I purchased two of them. Okay, uh, It was 20, $29, I believe it was. Again, uh, guaranteed forever, as Crescent says it on the label. So they're proud of it, okay? And just a multi-purpose tool that you may get some use out of. So, I hope you enjoyed the humor at the beginning of the video. It's always nice to get Jillio out here to help me when I need to. And uh, I hope this helps you in some way. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.